Welcome back to Mafia 3. We just arrived to Pablo. Not getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. Yay. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked things to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland. Oh? <laughs> Those are fighting words. How much ammo do I have? Yeah, that's enough. We're gonna go kill this guy. It's gonna be a good time. These. It did say Deleo Capulet. <laughs> I wanted there's a Montague. <laughs> oh man, that was terrible. I wonder how heavily guarded this place is gonna be. These goons, like, they're so annoying. Like, part of me wants to get an automatic weapon to make my life easier, but at the same time, that, like, spray of bullets just... I like accuracy. You know what I mean? Accuracy is important to me. Okay. Alright, so it seems like we're here. I'm just gonna get out the car. And go this way. Oh, that's the place we're just at, isn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Had to make sure this is like where I need to be. You think I should ask out Alice who works in the office? Alice Holland. Because you remember her dad is your fucking boss, and her brother is a homicidal fucking tweaker. So you don't think it's a good idea? You need to worry about that nigga out there trying to kill us. Then you can do what the fuck you want. Me, me? I'm pretty sure it's me you were talking about. I'm the, uh guy trying to kill you. That's fine, I mean. Whatever that was, it was bad. Jeez. Who's searching for me? You can't be searching for me if you don't even know I'm here. This isn't too hostile. You didn't spot me. I'm not even here. You think you spotted me. You didn't see nothing. There's nothing here. Trust me. Well, since you've already seen me, might as well just kill him. Was that him shooting at me? But he was like. Okay. Oh, there's the guy. I was like, who's shooting at me? Look, friend, okay? We can. We can do this the nice way. Or I can just kill all of you. Whichever one, whichever one you guys prefer. We, we can do both, honestly. What is that? Like a siren or something? This is not the way that I went before. Uh oh. He's over here! Over here! He's over here! How the Oh, 
awkward. Come on. Pop your head out just a little bit. Come on. Die. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, that's fine. I spotted him. No, you didn't. No. No. Jesus Christ. The sentry is gonna just can't go that way. The sentry is destroying my life. Good God. <laughs> This is about to end really badly. It's okay. I have a plan. Not really. Kind of. I see him. There he is. The fuck? Get him. I'm, I'm here. Oh god, I don't have time for this. Man. I'm just trying to get to him before they get to me, <laughs> honestly. Wait a second, how do I even get over there? What the? Oh, I see. Go down, and then go around. It's okay, we're gonna... I think we might have come there we go. Kill him before he kills you, am I right? Hope I'm not out of line. Whoa! There he is! But we should be working with those communist fucks. I think Get out of line of fire! Try to ice me! Get that for nothing! Try me out for size! Come on. And you're done. Before I almost died. <laughs> it's lit. Fuck off me, you big son of a bitch. Of course. And you're dead. I'm not ready to die. Well, you're dead. Like, how oh, maybe it's the other guy. Okay. Smuggling. We decided to give it to her, right? They give me way more money though? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like smuggling would be good for her because like she has a guy that does the smuggling, but they'll give me way more money. I'll still give it to her. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll just give it to her. Nice. If we're gonna hold tick for a harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Yeah, okay. But if you asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was set not on in the here and now. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they come in droves. Purple cars. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Well, that's awkward. Not my problem, though, so... Womp. Let's go back upstairs and get the money. <laughs> that was chilling upstairs. 
Places like this were such a labyrinth, and I was just not expecting any of it. But I need the money. I almost died because I was not thinking clearly. I kind of just ran in and hoped for the best. And I almost got myself killed. Wait, where's the... Oh. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Thank you. And give me this money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Appreciate all of your hard work. I wonder what happened if I accident if I like killed one of them on accident. Like would it cause an uproar? Wait, the stairs are this way. I feel like it probably would. Like a really bad uproar. Okay, there's my car. This place is literally a labyrinth that I'm not here for. I want to try to kill one of them, but I'm scared because there's so many of them here. Hey, I appreciate being around here. Oh, well, I'm glad to, you know, make you feel better about your life. Okay, now what is this? Oh, well, might as well do this since we're still at Tickfall. So, going ten years away. Okay. We're going on a trip in our favorite vehicle. I feel like all the sports cars are my fa- Ah! I feel like all the sports cars are my favorite vehicles, honestly. I can't pick just one. They're all good. They're all great. They're like the best thing ever, honestly. When I first started playing this game, I was kind of eh about it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But over time, like it's grown on me in like a weird sense. But maybe it's just because I'm just trying to get my car back, honestly. I want my black muscle car. Like it wasn't anything, fa I mean, okay, it was kind of fancy. And I want to like soup it up and do all these cool things to it, but I can't do it unless I find it. So until I find it, I can't stop playing. <laughs> Plus, there's less downtime in this game than, say, for instance, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, those side quests get so irritating after a while, and then driving around is just so daunting. Please, this is a door. Are you serious. Like, why don't they better specify where the doors are? Oh. Really? I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I ain't never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here, like, right fucking now! Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I'd take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though, and from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> this sounds like a stealth mission. Yeah, I'm not too fond of stealth missions. Well, required stealth missions. Like being stealthy, okay fine. But being forced to be stealthy, I can't deal with it. It's not a good time. Oh man, this is gonna be a trick. Okay, okay. Oh, that was nice. I almost destroyed the car just like that. <laughs> well, on that note, before I destroy the car, we're gonna end this part right here. And in the next one, we're gonna get to the Tanninger, where more than likely we'll already be there. I want that bulletproof vest. 
so yeah like and subscribe see you guys soon leave a comment down below follow me on twitter and remember stay lit <laughs>